Looking around the nation, a mistake so many of us have made led to the killing of a South Carolina college student. She got in the wrong car, apparently mistaking it for the Uber ride that she had called. Andy Guevara explains what happened. Candles glowed Sunday night at a vigil in Columbia, South Carolina, to honor 21-year-old Samantha Josephson. She truly was the love of my life. She had a personality and a presence that lit up a room. This was the last time the University of South Carolina senior was seen early Friday morning after a night out with friends. Police say she got into the wrong car when she called for an Uber. Hunters found her body later that day more than 65 miles away in a remote wooded area. Early Saturday morning, police pulled over 24-year-old Nathaniel Rowland after spotting him driving the same model car Samantha got in in the same area. After a brief foot chase, he was arrested. Inside the vehicle, officers say they found lots of evidence, window cleaner, bleach, and the victim's cell phone. Further examination determined that there was what appeared to be blood present in the car. And they quickly learned why she was not able to get free. Arrest warrants say her body was found with numerous wounds on her head, neck, face, upper body, leg, and foot. The child safety locks were activated on the door that would not allow someone to the means of escape. Roland did not appear at a hearing Sunday, but Samantha's mother was there. I cannot fathom how someone could randomly select a person, a beautiful girl, and steal her life away. My daughter's name is Samantha Josephson. Don't ever forget her name. Samantha Josephson, shame on her. Roland will now remain in jail until his bond hearing. He's charged with kidnapping and murder. Covering the story, Andy Guevara, 2 News. And when you call for an Uber, you'll see a picture of the driver and part of their license plate so you can make sure that you're actually in the right car.